In this video, we'll look at this question where we're asked to determine if we have a probability distribution. It says, for families with five children, let x be the number of children with genetic condition b. Why can the following table not be a probability distribution for the random variable x? Now looking at it, my first instinct is, what if there were no children out of all the five children that the couple had? What if all five children were healthy? What if none of the five children had the gen genetic condition? So we should see an x value of zero to represent the possibility of no none of the children. So for that reason alone, it's not a probability distribution. Um, so you might choose, it doesn't include the possibility that none of the children have the genetic condition. However, there's another choice that says the probabilities do not add up to one and it does not include the possibility that no children have the genetic condition. So we need to check to see which answer is more complete. So we can do that in Excel. We just need to copy the data over and add up all the probabilities and make sure they add up to one. Because if the probabilities don't add up to one, then we haven't covered all the bases. Now really and truly, um, all the bases haven't been covered. So we should see that it doesn't add up to one, but it, it does allow that sometimes sometimes the probabilities add up to one in this question. So we'll just, we'll go with it. We'll give it the, we'll humor it. And so notice that this does add up to one. And so I would choose, I would leave it the way I have it. However, it could change from version to version. Click content and paste. Make sure my sum is containing all the probabilities, okay? And so now it's less than one. So now my better answer would be that the probabilities do not add up to one, add up to one and zero is not represented here.